Hello friends. Um, so today, as promised, I came back to um, give a full demonstration uh, on the Delta Delta City method for QPC data analysis. Um, welcome to Dr. Lab Analyst. I'm Dr. Shaha. Um, today, we're simplifying the Delta City method for QPC gene expression analysis. If you have ever struggled with um, interpreting QPC data, this guide is probably for you. Um, so we'll cover here normalization, the delta delta city method, and how to calculate a full change. So let's drive in. All right, so just to let you know about the delta delta city method, um, this method starts by calculating the differences between the city values here you can see. So we got um, some of the control sample here, uh, gap deviation, some of the treatment for plow, and we got the city values from the QPCR. Um, so I did this from Rotagen machine. Um, so as I said that the gap DH is the reference gene and Pilau is the target gene. So the reference gene act as a control because it's assumed to have stable expression, right? Okay, so firstly, we will actually find out the average city values from these cities. So we got replicate one, two, and three from this control one. And each of these uh, control all treatment got the three replicates. So we have to find out the average city values for these. Let's, let's check it. All right, that's the average city below, so I already calculated and placed over here. So now we will find out the delta city. And this delta city values is the um, subtraction of city values from the treatment to control. So we got this one BHI1 and here BHI1 as well. So these, these um, value will be subtracted from these one. Right, let's calculate the delta city values, the first subtraction here. All right, so if you just do these calculations, then you'll find this number from 33 minus 11, so this number is something. So now we'll be finding out the average BHI. So now this average BHI means we have to um, make the mean of the city values from the treatment groups. Okay, the control group only works in the first um, average city values and then the delta city values calculations. But the other all values will be calculated from the treatment groups. So the average BHI, these one, BHI for, from these two will be calculated, so 22, 21. So I calculated these and I found it as this. All right, so now we'll be finding out the delta delta city values. So that's double delta is called. So we, we got the average um, city value here from BHI and we got all of these city values. So we will actually subtract these values uh, from all of these, okay? Let's calculate this one. All right, so we got the delta delta city values from all of these um, conditions, treatment conditions, and now we will be calculating the fall change. So the uh, fall change, the fall change is referred to two to the power minus delta delta city. And here, I calculated these values as um, these one. So now we got the fall change of these um, treatment conditions. We can now plot this and see um, how the visual is uh, actually worked here. So let's so this is our tiger genes, so plot one, plot two, get th. Okay. So after a specific treatment, we found. The first one is 0 
seven approximately, and then one point five. And this one is sixty three point two. The last one is sixty eight point two. Okay, so now we'll be plotting here. So you can insert graph here. I guess this graph is okay. All right, so you can just now change the graphs as per your um, interest. You can change the color, you can change the level here. So I'll just change the chart title. You can write it um, Pelagi Expression. So that's how the delta delta fall change is calculated. Um, so just some tips and common pitfalls in these cases. So the chose a reference gene of your interest with stable expression. So I selected here cap DH, but you can select um, different one as per your uh, protocol and experimental design. And ensure that the amplification efficiencies for target and reference genes are pretty similar for accurate results. So here I haven't shown the amplification efficiencies, but I have shown these to my other uh, videos. You can quickly check on it and uh, make sure that you also take the data where the efficiencies are pretty similar between the controls and um, reference and target genes. All right, so to, to conclude that this Delta Delta City method is a really simple and reliable way to assess relative gene expression normalize to a reference gene calculate delta delta ct and determine fold change by two to the power minus delta delta ct and uh, if this video helped simplify your qpc data analysis give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more lab tips and also let me know in comments if you have any other um information or suggestions or a video request or anything i'll try to um, provide my best in it so have a good day thank you so much for staying with us